Hello, my name is Penny Neville Lee and I am an illustrator, which must be one of the best jobs going because I get to spend my time drawing pictures of beautiful books. And the book that I want to talk to you about today is this one. It's a brand new book coming out called The Night Train. It's been written by Matilda Woods, the writer, and it is this really wonderful tale about this beautiful red train that travels through a snowy landscape and on board are some very special passengers with an important job to do because they're off to find lots of children to go and join in their dreams and without them the dreams aren't going to happen. But along the way they run into some problems and they have to work together to sort them out. Uh, I really love all of the characters in this book and I had so much fun drawing them uh, but there was one in particular that I really loved and I wondered if you'd like to join me for a draw along so you can learn how to draw him too. And he is this beautiful yeti behind me. There he is. Now he's a funny character because he always carries a big carpet bag with a big flask of ice cubes. And the reason he has ice cubes is because like me, he loves drinking tea. I drink a lot of tea when I'm illustrating. But unlike me, he likes having them with ice cubes. So I'm going to try it because he drinks all of his tea with ice cubes. So I'd better try it. I've got some here. Oh, nice and cold. There we go. Put one in. Oh, it's making a lovely sound. And let's see if he's right. Tea with ice cubes. Yeah, that's really horrible. But he likes it. So I might leave it to him. Anyway, shall we go and have a draw along? And we'll see if we can do a lovely job of drawing him together. Okay, let's see if we can draw our Yeti. So, I don't know how you draw, but whenever I start drawing, I like to start with a big shape. And a Yeti is a very round sort of character. So I'm gonna give him a really nice big round head. And then I'm gonna do a nice sort of bell shape beneath him for his body. So two straight lines here, and then a nice one curving underneath. There we go, so we've got his head and his body. Now I'm not doing my lines very dark, they're quite light at the moment, because in a minute I want to make him really nice and hairy, because all yetis should be hairy, shouldn't they? So I've done one line going down here, and then another line almost in the middle. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. And now we've got a Yeti with a body, a head and two legs. Let's do his lovely big arms. So they're going to come from the side of his head round and down to the side of his body like that. Now this Yeti in the book is a very lumbering character. He's always lumbering around. And he's got a bit of a reputation for being late as well. Now I think Yeti should have really big feet. So let's do two long lines at the bottom and then give him some nice big toes. My Yeti only has four toes. But you can give yours four or five, it doesn't matter. There we go. And let's start from the other side and do one, two, three, four. There we go. Now we've got a Yeti with a head, two arms, two legs, a body and two big feet. Now we need to do his face so he looks nice and friendly because he's not a scary Yeti this one. So I'm going to do a nice circle right in the middle so we know where our Yeti's face is. And it's very important to get his face nice and friendly because he doesn't want to scare whoever he's going to meet in his dream. So let's give him two sticky out ears by the side of his head. And my Yeti's nose, I wanted to make him as friendly looking as possible. So I gave him a little hump nose like this. You can do the same. And then underneath, I'll do three little bumps. And there he is, there's his nose. Because we want him to be friendly, let's give him a lovely sweet smile. And two nice bright eyes and there he is but he looks like a very smooth yeti to me and although he's probably a bit of a smooth operator 
we definitely want to make him hairier. So let's give him a little quiff of the middle of his hair like that. And two big hairy eyebrows. Come there. And now the fun bit. We can make our Yeti as hairy as we want. And we can give him a lovely hairy face. Like that. And then a lovely hairy head. Like that. My hairy Yeti's head goes into a bit of a point at his chin. And now I'm going to give him a big hairy tummy. Oh, it's hairy. There we go. I might even give him a little tummy like that. And then he's got lovely hairy legs going down to his big feet. And he's hairy there. And on his arms. And now he's ready to join in with any dreams that any of his owners want to have. They might go on a big adventure together. And in the book, they're going on a brilliant adventure to the North Pole. Let's give him two little lines in his ears just to finish him off. And also, I might just give him two thumbs so they can carry his thermos full of icy tea. And his big carpet bag. There we go. Well, I hope you've enjoyed drawing your Yeti. You can do whatever you like with it. You can give him a nice big bag to hold everything in. My one has little carpet bag so I'm going to do that and he keeps in his carpet bag all of his tea making so a teapot and a thermos glass full of ice cubes and there we go well thanks for joining me on my draw along I hope you have lots of fun reading the book